Hi and welcome to this support in the box tutorial. Today we're going to have a look at combined outputs and how to use that in support in the box. Uh, combined output is a way of using multiple inputs and live video sources and screen controllers, mix that together and send that out on one output. So uh, it could either be in the scenario that we have a video board where we have one part a scoreboard, one part a live video and we maybe want to animate between the live video showing on the whole thing, showing commercial that is a special format and then animate between different scenes like this. Let's uh, go to Sport in a Box and have a look at how to configure this. Um, we're working now out from our swimming database, what we did in the previous tutorials. Um, we can have a look at how the output actually looks there. So we have our scoreboard to the left and our live video output to the right. Um, let's now go into the settings in Sport in the Box. So file settings. The first thing of what we want to do is create a screen controller that covers the whole area. Let's uh, create a new one. This because I want something that has custom resolution. I don't want a 750p or a full HD to stretch. I want to be able to show something, a custom resolution content that will show over the whole screen. And we add that as a custom resolution. So now we have a player. We can name that also full screen. Then let's go to combine output here and we can enable combine output. Please also note to be able to access combine output you need to have the full version. If you have the light version combine output is not available. Then we select custom format here and we change the format so it has uh, the same resolution as our other output, right? Now we can create a scene and here we have to think through the different scenarios of what we want to do. So I'm thinking that we have three major scenarios. One where we have, as it was already configured, scoreboard to the left, video to the right. Uh, another scenario where we maybe have the video stretched over the whole video screen. Then the third scenario where we want the special content from our full screen screen controller to be displayed. So let's uh, create first the main scenario, video and scoreboard. Then we add the element. Please note that the elements are global, so that means that I have to add all the elements that I want in all my different scenes. So let's select scoreboard, screen and full screen. In this first scenario, I don't want the full screen to be shown, so I remove the visibility. When you're configuring combined outputs, if you're not seeing the screen, I would suggest that you go here and you can right click on the preview here and show combine outputs instead. That simplifies a little bit to see what you're actually configuring. Uh, now we have our three elements and we can see we have our scoreboard first and then we have our stream and then our full screen. Both the scoreboard and stream are visible but currently the stream is covered by the scoreboard so if we would move that up here whoop, we can see that our stream is coming up. Let's move that down again. What we want to do is to have the stream to the right so let's uh, move that to the right here by changing the X coordinate. So we're moving that to the right. You can see directly that it takes effect. So that's our first scene. So let's uh, create a new one. Um, and then we shouldn't use the plus here after the first one is created. We can use the copy one here. Then I have all my elements the same. So let's name this uh, video stretch. Sorry for my spelling here, that's not my A game. So 
So I'll, in this case, I want to remove the scoreboard. You can see that it's removed directly. And I want to take my stream and show it over the whole thing. So let's first start by moving that to zero position. And then we stretch that. Whoop. So what you can see now is that the video board is stretched and the output is stretched. And it can be nice in some cases, but you will get very wide figures. And that's why we have our third scenario where we actually have our full screen. And can you see here, now I did a mistake and made plus here and you have the elements, but it's a bit tricky to configure. So we're gonna use the copy key again. And then we can name it full screen. And then we remove the visibility of both the stream and add the full screen one. And you can see here it's already covered the whole of it. Now since I'm not playing any content in this screen controller, I'm not really sure where it is. So I, to simplify the location, we can just add minus 20 there and have a red color or something. And you can see here I seeing the where it's located so I can see that it's the holder is correct. Move that to zero again. So now I have my three different scenarios, what I'm going to use. So I can, of course, move between them, like pulling here, but that's not how we're going to run things when it's the event is on. So we need some speed buttons to control it. So let's create three speed buttons for each scenario. So we have here video scoreboard and we go to combine output here and we can say video and scoreboard you can of course as I we said in the previous uh, tool that you can bind it to a speed key and things like that but let's just do this for now we can maybe change the icon as well to something with combined output makes it a little bit more easy to recognize and then we have video stretch. And then we have our third full screen. Maybe add it to a group as well to make sure that we are knowing what we're doing here. So we can directly show here video and scoreboard, full screen or video stretched or animate between these since I'm still not playing anything in my full screen. So let's add some content in our full screen as well, just to see how it plays. Um, we have to add some content here. something playing and then we can try to move in between these having my full could be that perfect that's my three different scenarios um, if we look at our actual output the last part what we have not done so far we'll look at the output here is that we still have our two video windows. So that's the last part of what we need to do. So let's go to file settings again here. Um, and we can see under video window, we have two video windows here. Let's have a close up and support in the box. 
So now we only need one video window. So let's remove the stream video window and change the scoreboard's source to combine outputs instead. Um, as you can see, it doesn't cover the whole thing, so let's also make it wider so it actually covers it. And that's it. We have our three scenarios. Still not playing anything in the full screen. Let's also let's stretch this so we have something playing on the whole. Imagine this to be a nice entry video before the event starts or something like that. We can move to the full screen or we can show live video of the whole thing or we can show video score. What we also could do when we have made a database like this is to go into settings and say that my preview here, as you saw, I right clicked before. I maybe want to always have that showing and start up to show combined outputs. Then I can go to here, you can scoreboard and I have here main preview source and change that to combine output. That means every time I'm starting the computer, I will always show combine output in that window, right? Yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching.